In this video, I'm going to show you how the media download from WordPress feature works. And this is a little bit different than the other media list with a playlist with downloads. So I'm going to show the difference between those two. But essentially, this is going to allow you to add a link to a WordPress poster page that has a media URL. And then a user can click that link in the app and the media will be downloaded to the device so that it can be accessed offline. So the first thing that we're going to do is visit our website and we're going to add a new page. So I'm going to call this media download. And then on that page, we're going to add a link. So if you go to our documentation, you can look up download media from WordPress. It's going to show you an example link here. I'm just going to go ahead and copy that and paste it here. So it's a it's basically just a link with a class of app download. I also have a class of button there, but that is not required. That's just for the styling. The app download class is the only one that's required. Then we have a URL to our media file. And then we also have one more thing that says data download title, which is going to be the name of the file. And that is used in the app. So what I'm going to do is grab the link I have an MOV file here that I had already downloaded previously. I'm going to grab that link and put it in as the href. So that's just going to be the full path to a file. And then I'm going to call it church. And then I'm just going to say download church movie to your device. And if you like, you can even put in an icon there or something like that. But Basically, I'm going to publish that page. Next, I'm going to add this page to my app. So in my app customizer, I'm going to go to menus and I'm going to click on my menu and click add item, go to WordPress external links, and I'm going to put in the link to that page. And I can put a, an icon in here called download. It's a little bit confusing um, with the playlist that we had added if you watched my previous video, but I'm going to show you the difference here. I'm just going to, maybe I'll call this download from WP. So now that is added to our menu. We can see it here. We'll click on it and it has this button. Um, it has maybe a little bit too much text. So go like this. Obviously you can edit the styling as needed. So there we go, the button's a little bit smaller. Uh, and you know, another thing we could do is if we wanted to, maybe you would have a, a YouTube video or something up above here so that they could play the video and then you would have the button down below that says download to your device. That would make a little bit more sense um, in, a, in a use case here. So now that we have that, uh, we are able to download it to our device. The next thing we need to do is give a page to show the downloads that people have already uh, added to their device so that they can play the downloads or view them when they're offline. So to do that, we're going to create a new custom HTML page. So go to custom pages and then choose go add a new page. Then we're going to choose custom HTML. And I'm going to just say downloads. Now this can be, you can uh, add this to an existing page or create a new page. In my case, I'm creating a new page, but I'm gonna go back to the documentation and uh, copy and paste this code that we have here, which is basically just a button that's going to open a modal that will show the downloads. So uh, like I said, you could take this code and add it to an existing HTML page if you have like a settings page or the page where people can view their push notification settings, um, things like that. Uh, in my case, I'm just gonna do a whole separate new page. So then once we created that new page, we need to add it to the menu. So I'm gonna go to custom page. Um, I forget what I called it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give a different name so it's easier to see what it is. Okay, go back to the menus, add items. Uh, I'm going to search for view, downloads. Okay, there we go. So then I'm going to save that. 
And anytime you add a custom HTML page, you have to rebuild so that it will show up in the preview. So I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, now that our rebuild is complete, we have the view downloads page here. And when I click on it, it's going to show the downloads. Now I have some custom CSS that's making this button look kind of weird, so I would have to fix that. But um, So basically the flow of this is going to be when people are going to go to your WordPress page, they're going to be able to click on the download button, and it's going to download to their device. Now this doesn't actually work in the preview because uh, it's not a device. So uh, we're not going to be able to view that. But once they were to download it, then they could go to the page that it says view downloads and click on show downloads and it's going to be a list here. And if it was a movie or an audio file, they could just click on it. It would open up the media modal and play that file for them. Uh, we It can also handle PDFs and images, although um, for PDFs it may have to open the link externally uh, because some devices don't actually have a PDF viewer on them. So uh, that is how the media downloads work. Now. Um, a slight difference. So if you look at the API list downloads, which is which I covered in another video, which would be if you go to custom pages and you click add a media downloads page, the difference between this and the feature that I just went over is that this is going to pull in an API route. The download is actually in post meta um, and it's all going to be contained on this page. So this is great for if you have a playlist and it's all um, you know based on custom post types. Like a, like a bunch of podcasts or you have sermons or something like that. This one worked great for that. The download from WordPress page, this works great for like if you're building a LearnDash app and you want people to be able to download the course materials, you can just kind of add that in a link, you know, right there to the page where your LearnDash course is. Or if you were to have, you know, just a, a post with a with some bonus materials that somebody could download. Um, then it works great for that. So uh, you have two different options of how to get downloads onto the device and you can just use the one that works best for you.